the first step to become a pro builder and decorator is Pinterest. Not sponsored. I mean, Pinterest, if you want to sponsor me, with all jokes aside, a mandatory thing that you need. Unless you come up with ideas yourself and like you're really that creative, and props to you and you go, girl. But me, on the other hand, I am creative, but sometimes I do need some inspiration. So I run to Pinterest and I grab a lot of inspiration. Welcome to my new little like series where I'm gonna be showing you guys. Don't worry, I'm still doing the dream apartment stuff. Welcome to my house building series where I teach you guys how to build and decorate like a pro aka a professional aka you've been doing this forever and you got a master's degree in decorating and building in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to build and decorate your dream kitchen i'm going to do this room by room so that means kitchen living room bedroom office bathroom laundry room and extra rooms you know because i noticed that a lot of you guys have always told me how do you build so good how do you decorate so good which thank you so much for the compliment and i don't want to gatekeep anything so i'm going to go ahead and share my tips and tricks on how I do it. Obviously, I am not a professional, nor do I claim to be one. At the end of the day, building is you should have fun while building, and I enjoy building when I have motivation. By the end of these videos that I end up posting, you should be able to decorate and build your kitchen with ease. And today, I'm going to be using this beautiful, empty, modern kitchen to show you guys how to build it and decorate it like a pro. Let me know any other types of rooms or build you guys you guys would want to see, because I am so here for it. Let's get started. Before you start building anything, you got gotta know which type of style you're going for this is a modern slash minimalistic kitchen that's one of my favorite styles but there's so many other styles and you can even create your own you don't have to do this one but personally me i enjoy building and decorating modern kitchens and you gotta be comfortable with building and decorating something that you like so if this is not your style don't be afraid there's many other styles and many other ways to decorate it so to build this beautiful kitchen you will need to go to build go to walls you're gonna go four up then five to the right and then four back down you close it off this is just the room you're gonna go to build you're gonna click on floor and you're gonna go to manual placement all right now let's start the coloring process so we're gonna start off with the floor and you're gonna choose this custom color which is nine eight nine six nine four or you could just choose a any gray color it works perfectly fine then you're gonna go to materials grab this material for the walls you're gonna click them you're gonna go to first to material you're gonna click on concrete and then you're gonna use light stone gray for the walls now your kitchen should be looking something like this make your way over to decorate find counters you're gonna choose the modern counter set modern drawer counter and start placing them and you're gonna want to place around five leaving one extra space here next you're gonna go ahead and color them and use this custom color which is c7b7a6 use that custom color for all the colors for the middle section you're gonna go to vertical wood logs the last section should be wood green and then color the rest just like that now you should have something like this the reason i didn't make the wall completely white as like concrete is because it wouldn't really complement the counters as good as the light stone gray but if you want to do them white or smoky gray or blue or cloudy gray or green or purple how about red or pink that's totally up to you head over to build and click on basic shapes find a cube select this basic shape place it down make sure your grid is on the smallest go to scale tool and now you're gonna go ahead and scale it to one you're gonna bring it all the way to the top until it touches the ceiling which would be 11.9 now move it all the way to the corner go to your transform tool and push it back but make sure you have a little space like that like right there between the counters and that go back to your scale tool and make sure that reaches all the way to the back you're gonna want to scale this to about 3.45 and push it to the back your end goal is to have something that like sticks out like that next copy it you're gonna put it right here on that fourth counter right where that ends where the handles end push it back then you're gonna grab another basic cube place it on top of the counters this time flatten it out expand it to its maximum level make it to 2.95 wideness this you're actually gonna bring it now over here right there so right where it ends that's where you should be putting it i don't know if i'm making any sense but push this all the way back go back to your scale tool scale this to be around 1.45 use your transform tool to, to drag it up and you see how there's a gap here and a gap here yeah make sure you connect that by using your scale tool once again just make sure the lines line up with each other best as you can if this happens just push it back a little bit more and this is what we should have right now go back to cube place it down this time you're gonna flat 
flatten it out straight up, expand it to its max, and then drag this all the way to the top. Transform tool and push it all the way back until the back concrete is covered. This is what you should have so far. Decorate appliances and choose this Felix Freeze Fridge and place it down. You should have this. Color this fridge the exact same material as the walls. I'm talking everything. So make sure you change the material, all the materials to concrete and light stone gray so your fridge looks like this now to hide this mess very simple and easy don't be afraid for a basic shape grab another cube place it right in front of the, right in front of the counter go to your scale tool all the way up to the ceiling make sure you get this gap here so you're obviously going to want to expand it now with your transform tool push it back into and once again if you're missing some gaps fill them in and now you're going to have this and you'll be like how do i cover that up simple solution again grab another cube put it right on top of the fridge resize it and touching the ceiling Make sure it lines up and don't worry about this mess no one is gonna see that now you should have this that was very simple very easy right well if you thought that was easy you're about to be surprised again but we're still not done go back to cubes i know we're using so many cubes go ahead and copy this cube you made before previously and try to place it as far as it can go to the counter next thing you're gonna do is go to your scale tool and thin it out as much as you can from here on you're just gonna drag this to around 10.5 Four. Then you're gonna use your transform tool to push it back and once it reaches that wall you should just stop there and then make sure there's no gap close all the gaps up. but it's sticky now it's not lining up with anything else it's okay duplicate this one and do the exact same thing on the other side just like that and you're gonna grab you're gonna copy the cube on top place it on the counters resize it line it out and this one you're just you're gonna line it up with this with these two new ones that you just made Use your transform tool to push it up. Both sides align. You might need to make some more adjustments, so don't be afraid to do that. And let me tell you the truth, we're still not done. What's wrong with you, bro? You tripping, bro. You tripping. <laughs> Go back to use another cube now. Make sure this cube is stuck to the wall. Bend it. You're just going to want to push it in a little bit to 2.3. Use your transform tool and bring it all the way to the top. Make sure the top, it touches the top to 4.75. Copy it again. Flatten it out this time. And you're going to want to extend it 3.75. Use your transform tool to bring it up. Make sure there's no gaps. Line it up with, the, I'm going to call them pillars. They're not pillars, but line them up with these two pillars to negative 0 0.21 so now you should be left with this you're gonna recolor everything all of this gray stuff the same color as the fridge and the walls everything now for the inside you're gonna color everything the same as the counters let's move on to the island grab a cube place it down it should be about this far from the counter you're gonna go to your scale tool and scale it to 3.5 place another one right next to it and then place one more and then place the last one and delete the two in the middle copy it and place it right on top of it flatten it out scale it to 1.4 from the height you're gonna scale it to 1.35 use your transform tool to bring it all the way to the side which it should be 1.02 do the exact same thing on the other side they don't have to be perfect grab another basic cube put it right in the middle flatten it out 11.5 now use your transform tool to line it up with both as you can see i'm leaving a gap between the main two cubes and that's why we placed the little two other cubes in the bottom for support so you should raise it up to negative 0.11 color these two cubes the exact same color as the wall then you're going to want to color the cubes in the bottom make them the same color as the floor but just a little lighter use the exact same color on this side and the color i used was c5 c2 c0 you're going to go to materials you're going to find marble and you're going to color that light stone gray this is what you should have so far next go to build go to windows find this arch inset place it right in the middle go to scale tool bring it up as far as you can go for me it's 11.5 and color it the exact same color as the wall and that's basically how you build this beautiful modern kitchen <laughs> you built the kitchen we're gonna get into how to decorate a kitchen specifically blocks per kitchen since our kitchen is made out of like this light wood color whitish concrete 
adding black would really make the kitchen pop so let me show you exactly how to do that to make the custom sink you're gonna go to build basic shape <laughs> select the cube i know you're then gonna go to decorate go to plumbing choose this modern floating vanity and place it right on top of the cube use your transform tool to make the sink go into the counters and make sure this is the only thing that's visible another basic shape place it right on top of the counter make this the exact same size color the cube really black use your transform tool to put it inside you color really black or blue as like a water effect and you could actually put dirty dishes and dirty plates on here then you're gonna color the sink really black as well that's how you add this beautiful custom sink i love it so much click on appliances and find this electric cooktop place it right there and you're just gonna copy all the colors from the sink which is really black really black and really black that's how you add black into this kitchen which really makes it pop another thing that's very 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 crucial and important is lighting when decorating you're gonna go to lighting horizontal border light you could use the led lights but these i love them because it just looks so much better in order to place these you're gonna want to grab bottom shelf type thing and just pull it out a little bit to leave a little gap in the back grab the horizontal border light because you did that these will hook onto the back so that's how you have some led lights the light you could again them purple blue green orange red i am going to be using this custom color which is f a e c c d and when it comes to lighting not only led wise but knowing where to place your lighting is going to make such a big difference in your build and decoration skills i'm going to be using these half beard pendant only placing two if this is gonna be your main light source then make them the brightest color you can so you get more lighting or keep them nice and warm tone but if this isn't gonna be your primary source of lighting which isn't for me i'm just gonna make the color black use your scale tool to scale them down to about 4.25 you can go as low as you desire and the reason as to why these aren't going to be my main source of light is because i do have these little lights on top there's a big difference between these lights compared to these lights i'm going to show you how to turn your lights from this to that masterpiece it really just depends on how you want your house or apartment to look like i really like this like sleek modern look so to do that you're gonna go to build basic shapes you're gonna grab a cube i know so many cubes flatten it out width as well and height as well and then from here you're gonna make its width 0.7 and its height 0.5 go to lighting grab landscape up light is it right there make sure you change the colors to light stone gray and the material to smooth plastic what i did for this build specifically was i placed it on the top of the the roofs i grabbed my transform tool then i rotated this one this light to like flip to the bottom then i changed my grid size to the smallest size i grabbed my transform tool again and i just went down here and i waited for the light to pop up i don't know if you guys caught that negative 0.05 and that's how i got these lightings which are so cute and mm. remember how i said that pinterest is crucial yes when i don't know what to add to a certain place or how i want my space to look like i just go to pinterest and search up kitchens modern kitchens aesthetic kitchens minimalistic kitchens anything related with kitchen and from there i take little pieces from each kitchen i like and i add it into my decoration and because i do that so much you will then start to develop your own style and my own style is more of like adding pink and adding this and that and i really liked how these plates were being like placed you know there's wooden plates there's like some creamy type of looking plates they're really really cute but there's also another post that has white plates and again more creamy plates and it looks really really good as well so i'm going to mix both images into my build i'm gonna find some tableware i'm gonna grab this empty bowl and place it right here i just had to readjust my shelf because i didn't want the bowl to be sticking out and i'm gonna go right next to it with some stack of bowls and you could add so for my cups i'm gonna use some tall glass of those and then i'm gonna go to some small mug adjust things if they need to be adjusted so then i'll look a little like this now you have to recolor them you have to and i typically would suggest to recolor them a color that matches the theme of your kitchen and for this it has to be like dark colors so essentially all i'll do is just try to make them with the cups as well 
and since my build is very like neutral warm tone vibe colors this is what i came up with you could definitely add some greenery into here and that's totally up to you another thing you can do is like choose a standard round rod choose a small round rod custom like line right in front of this um of the electric stove top make like a like a zigzag type thing like something like that then go to decoration go to garden and find hosting lighten up right there i know it may look weird and funky but hold on color everything black just like that it really also comes down to if you want to keep your kitchen clean or you want to make it look cluttered. To add like a pot here, all you have to do is go to basic shapes. And for this, I would suggest to grab a transparent cube, size it down all the way. Large pot, I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to recolor this one, a color again that matches the kitchen. Then use your transform tool to bring it over to the stove top. There you go, that's how you add that. For your sink, always try to add like a soap or something like that. And to elevate like your hand wash station, i would suggest going back to build mode grabbing another cube flattening out the way and then from 0.25 bring it out to about 0.5 and then from the width do about 3.5 use your transform tool to place it right above right here something like right in between the sink color it the exact same color as the wall go to decoration go to your soap bottles you have two different options and both will work amazing before i forget adding the appliances like a cheese grater makes everything just so much better and you could add this one literally right there and it'll look like it belongs there because it does the kitchen you could use this counter mounted soap dispenser to have a more sleek look but if you're like me and you want it to be just a little more cluttered to make it feel like you're oh someone's actually living here you can add a wooden soap dish a glass soap dispenser from these three options you can choose any and you all you have to do is just recolor them or you could probably even choose all of them for me i think i'm gonna be going with the soap bottle add two soap bottles preferably right next to each other there's nothing wrong with that I color this is bottles a color that complements the kitchen don't be afraid to add your personality into your build and when you're decorating that's how you're gonna get the best results and you're gonna end up with something you really love and enjoy go to decorations again and you're gonna go to grab this ba basic blanket place it right on top of the counter go to your scale tool and resize it and make it as small as possible and just make it look like it's hanging off like out of the counter kitchen then you know you know what to do already but i'm gonna have it pink because i want to add some pink in here more of a darker pink will look good but i'm gonna leave it light pink keep playing around with this and add any more clutter if you want for me this is fine and this would do it for me but i think we're still missing some stuff like some oil bottle duh but i don't know if you noticed it kind of looks a little weird just leaving them right there out in the open so what i would suggest is you grab this same shelf delete the objects make it just a little smaller it can fit right here use your transform tool and make a cute little shelf will look better than having them all close together definitely play around with a lot of colors you can add cups of utensils but then again that's up to you i always add these in the corner you don't have to add all of this i'm just giving you guys some ideas on how to fill up some spaces like i said do not be afraid to move things around to fill up these empty spaces when you have shelves that are empty you don't necessarily need to fill every single shelf up don't leave it empty as well only way you could leave this empty is if you take the shelves out and it's just an indent in the wall it's an arch indent in the wall add more like cups and vases and things that really just like make it look nice depending on your Bloxburg character's lifestyle is how you're gonna fill up your shelves no, 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 no. i'm looking at it i don't really think the lemons really make a good place here so we're gonna delete that and i'm gonna grab the large cutting board make it face like a hot dog style which is gonna be pine cone for me and i'm gonna go to decorations i'm gonna go to lighting and i'm gonna choose a candle who wouldn't like a cute candle in their kitchen definitely try out different shapes because sometimes other candles will look better than others for the most part i think i'm gonna put the candle to my right and not on the cutting board because you're gonna add food adding food is such a game changer and it just spices your kitchen up so much more and in my eyes this kitchen is done it looks beautiful very 
minimalistic and modern obviously your kitchen will look a lot different than mine depending on the style and what you like and what you don't like it's totally okay to switch things up you don't have to have the same things as me you don't have to say, you don't have to use the same color scheme as me or the same style as me as long as you're having fun and enjoying what you're doing it's all that really matters and decorating your blocks for house shouldn't be that difficult when you really are enjoying what you're doing for beginners i understand you might feel like i don't know how to do all those stuff people are so advanced in this game where I, i'm not there yet and it takes time i've been playing blocks for about i would say four or five years now I'm, and i'm still not the best at it i just found my type of style and this is like me what i like to do i like to include pink things into modern things that pink shouldn't be in but i make them be in because it's my rules i'm building it but yeah i really do hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you did please consider subscribing it is totally free let me know what other type of rooms you guys want to see me decorate more in detail the next room i'm planning on showing you guys how to decorate and build like a pro that you'll be able to impress your friends with and they'll be like wow how do you know how to build like this it's a bedroom i don't know let me know if you guys want to see that but i just feel like i also want to help you guys out build hack and tips and tricks that i've learned throughout these years of playing boxburg i still am doing my role plays don't you worry guys make sure to follow me on all my social media links linked in the description don't forget to join the discord server as well as follow me on roblox and yeah i love you guys all so much remember i love you and god loves you and i cannot wait to see you in the next one bye clouds